Okay, so WWE has mentioned having more tag team titles. Of course, they've decided with an idea of the intergender tag team titles, which would work because then you have that multiverse style way of doing titles. No, instead of looking at tag titles for the women's divisions, Raw and SmackDown, and 205 Live. Cruiserweights first. It actually kind of makes sense. You've already got the naturally made groups of Kendrick and Jack Gallagher, or Gallagher, which makes sense. Hideo Itami and Akira Dazao might have broken up, so you still took the one group. Lucha House Party as your second group. Okay. Um, they need to pair up more people if they want to do a tag division. If they keep Akira Tozawa and Hideo Tommy, it's still three groups. If they were to make some additional pairings, it would kind of make sense. But as of right now, just having three people, three teams, kind of, does not make sense to make a, a tag belt there. If they do another tournament where they bring in people from other sides, they bring in some of the UK guys who are under 205. I could maybe see it. If it would be something where the Undisputed Era gets a shot at them, or British Strongs gets a shot at them, maybe. I think if they open it up, I could I could see two of them like making it work. But with their current roster, it, it, it would be on the on the tough side. So going to SmackDown. The nice thing about SmackDown is they're already doing tag matches, which makes it a lot easier to go through. I mean just looking through their roster quickly. Oscar and Becky Lynch currently work together as a team. Charlotte works them every now and then. You have the iconics. Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. You've got Absolution. Uh, I think they show... They got both Bellas? Okay, they show Nikki still being on on Team Blue, but Nikki and Brie. So then you've got Absolution, Asuka and Becky, the Iconics, and the Bellas. Four groups. One of them probably not going to be around for a long time, but I'll be kind of honest. If you were to do the Iconics versus the Bellas, that's an interesting matchup. I'd also allow you to do Bellas versus Asuka and Becky. Because I do think there's some money to be made in having Nikki Bella take on Asuka. Then there again, you've got effectively three teams, maybe four teams. It'd be hard to do a lot with that from a tag division standpoint. There are a lot of women who just who are not naturally paired up with anybody right now. So you'd have Tamina, who thinks are with injury. Selena Vega, who isn't that bad. But she's more of a singles wrestler. Naomi. Maurice, Maria, Lana. Uh, Charlotte, Carmella. So there's enough people there that you could probably make an additional team. And, and it could work well enough if you want to keep at least a four-team rotation. So I could kind of see that working on the on the SmackDown brand. Ooh. Women's division on Raw. We have the Riot Squad. It's a ready-made group. Sasha Banks and Bayley. I could see you keeping them together just long enough to do a, a match or do have them fall apart. I guess Ronda Rousey and Natalia, Mickey James and Alexa Bliss. Ember Moon's by herself. Dana Brooks by herself. Alicia Fox by herself. So you'd have Banks and Bailey for at least a little bit. The Riot Squad. And uh, Bliss and Mickey James. Unless you were to do the Strowman route and then just have Nia Jax hold all the tiles at one time. Again, it'd, it'd be rough to get that to work. I think if you have at least four teams, you can kind of have a rotation going on. 
I could see Dana Brooke hooking up with somebody else as the expansion of Titus worldwide or big slide. I can see the pair with somebody else to try to make it kind of work, but it, it, it'd be a hard sell. So if they wanted to do it without them doing the whole, oh, we'll just make it across all of the, you know, women's belts across all of three, all the three shows, including NXT, they would need some call-ups to make some additional teams. I could see it barely working on SmackDown. Really not working at all on Raw, and if two of the live want to do it, they really start to need to pair it more guys, unless they raid the NXT universe for some of the UK guys to fill in their rosters. <laughs>